Today, I would like to talk about a very serious problem. It's a growing epidemic that's sweeping the nation. And unfortunately, lots of girls are succumbing to it. This epidemic is only known by one word. Buck Bunny. Yeah, bruh, look at that girl over there. She don't know anything about hockey. She's just a Puck Bunny. Seriously, I'm tired of being called a Puck Bunny even though I know my facts and I actually know the game. Would a Puck Bunny know that on December 20, 2010, Steven Stamkos of the Tampa Bay Lightning scored his 100th career goal in his 194th game in a 5-1 victory against the Carolina Hurricanes at St. Pete Times Forum? I think not. And also, would a Puck Bunny know that Eric Fair was the one of the Washington Capitals that led them to a 3-1 victory against the Penguins in a 2011 Winter Classic? No way, Jose. So really guys, I'm tired of being called a puck bunny when I know all these facts that you probably don't even know. I mean, come on guys, some girls actually know the game. Get used to it. And let me clarify just one thing. Girls that find a player on the team they like attractive does not mean that they're a puck bunny. If they know the game and they find a player attractive, that's just going to happen. We're females. We have hormones too. But when a girl goes to a game dressed up in heels and skimpy clothes and sits right next to the ice, that's a puck bunny. But then there's the females that go to a game with a hat, jerseys, you can't see them but I've got jerseys over there, and like just whatever, then yeah, they're a real fan and they actually like the game. But I mean, uh, seriously guys, you've got to stop confusing us real fans with the lame puck bunnies out there. That's the end of my little rant, but I really hope you guys will stop confusing us, because I'm so tired of it. But I gotta say one last thing before I go. Sharks are the best team in the NHL, and if you don't like them, <laughs> you're lame. Go Sharks! Until next time, see you guys later.